What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day 22 of the Resist program. We have a lower body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into our three minute AMRAP warm up and then we'll jump into our first circuit. So we're gonna set three minutes on the clock. We're gonna cycle through three movements as many rounds as we can, just trying to get nice and loose. First one is a inchworm with a rotation. So you're gonna start at the bottom of your mat. You're gonna walk all the way out to a plank, right foot to the outside of the right hand. You're gonna rotate up towards the right. Bring the right foot back, left foot forward, rotate up towards the left, and then walk back in three times. Then we're going to forward lunge, and we're trying to get that knee over the toe and hold for a second, three each side, rotating. If you have any pain in the knee, you can do that lunge up on an elevated box. My left knee has been bothering me a little bit lately, so I'm gonna do mine on the box. I'm really trying to open up my uh, ankles, loosen up the quads a bit, three each side. Then we're going into five squat jumps. So load up, feet pretty now. Load, jump, five reps. We ready team? Let's do it. We got a 10 second countdown. Three minutes. Cycle through those three movements as many times as you can. In three, two, three inch worms. And work. Walk all the way out. Take your time here, team. There we go, three lunges. I'm gonna go all three on the right, then switch. I'm letting that heel come up. I'm trying to loosen up the ankle as much as I can. And then I'm gonna do the other leg on the box. Box or bench, anything you have that's elevated. Now we're going into five squat jumps. Load, explode. And then back to inchworms, team. Fifty seconds, team. Thirty. Take your time, try to get that ankle nice and loose, hip flexor. <clears throat> Eight seconds. Two, one, let's do it team. All right, first circuit up. We got two movements. They're both unilateral movements. That means we're gonna do one leg at a time. So we're gonna have four intervals because we're gonna go right, left, right, left with two different movements. Four sets. First set, we're doing eight reps. Second, 10 reps. Third set, 12 reps, and the final set is 15 reps. We're not maxing out here. A little bit more dangerous to max out on lower body like we did yesterday with upper body on certain movements. So we're gonna have 40, 50 seconds to complete the eight reps, 60 seconds to complete the 10 reps, 75 seconds to complete the 12, and another 75 to complete the 15. So the two movements we're gonna do are dead stop split squats. So we're gonna set up 
on your back toe, feet are pretty spread apart. Most of the weight is loaded forward. We're going down, let that knee fully rest on the ground, drive back up, pushing all through this front leg. You can hold two dumbbells or one, nice and slow, pause. We're coming to a dead stop as indicated in the name. Then we're gonna switch legs, do the exact same thing on the left leg. Now we're gonna move into our second exercise with a front rack step up. So front rack means we're gonna rack up the dumbbells up on the shoulders like so. You're gonna need a box, a bench, something to step up on. Drive up, nice and slow down. We're gonna do eight reps on the right leg and then eight reps on the left leg. Your only rest breaks here are the remainder of those intervals after you finish your reps. So in the first round you got 50 seconds. Your only rest is the remainder of that 50 after you complete the eight reps. I'm gonna go with a higher box this time. If you guys don't have a box to step up onto or a bench or a chair or some type of ledge, you can do a forward lunge, which is similar to the dead stop split squat. So ideally you would have something to step up onto. Questions, we ready to roll? I'm gonna go 35s on the split squats and I'm gonna go 30s on the step up since I'm using a higher bench. We are going in 10 seconds, team, let's do it. Eight split squats. Dead stop, right leg forward in three. One, nice and slow down. Come to a total stop, drive. Switching legs in 15. We're going left leg forward. In 10. In five, three, one. And work team. Nice and slow top. Fifteen seconds, team. We're going step ups on the right leg. Try not to jump off the bottom leg. Shift your weight forward, push through that front leg. Three, one, and work. Dumbbells up high, drive. Eight reps, control that descent. seconds we're going to the left leg in five eight reps on the left leg team one and work Fifty seconds, we're back to dead stop split squats on the right leg. I'm dropping a 30s here. You're gonna need to drop probably. If you don't, you probably went too light. Three, maybe not in this set, but in the future. Cause you got 10, 12, 15, all right. 10 reps in 60 seconds. Right leg, come to that dead stop.
Come on. Twenty seconds, team. Woo. Fifteen. We're on ten on the left leg, coming up. In seven. Five. Let's get them. Three. One. Let's work. Ten reps, come on. Oh. Fifteen seconds, team. We're going ten step ups, front rack on the right leg. I'm gonna stick with thirties here, actually. That felt pretty good. If you need to drop the hands down to your side, you can in front of the front rack. And work. Ten reps, right leg. Ten reps, twenty seconds, team. We're switching legs. Woo. In ten. Left leg for ten reps. In three. One. And go. <sighs> Woo. All right, team, we're going to 25s on the split squats. We're going 12 this round. You got a minute and 15 to complete them. Let's get it. In three, one, 12 reps here, team. Let's go. Keep that chest up, bend at that knee. Come to a dead stop, drive. We're trying to take any momentum or bounce out of that movement. Remainder of the minute 15 once you're done. We got 25 seconds left. Whew. Twelve seconds, team. Come on. Left leg forward. Let's get it. Make these hurt, baby. Left leg. Up on that back tippy toe. Nice and slow down. Load that left quad and glute. Push through that leg. 
12 reps. Come on. Twelve reps. Whew. I'm gonna drop the twenties on the step ups. I'm really trying to control that descent and trying my best not to jump off that bottom foot. It's the hardest thing to do. If that's what your body wants to do to cheat but you got to drive the weight forward over the toe and keep it over up and down right leg step ups team 12 reps plant that heel and push Seconds, team. Woo! Ten seconds. Two. Left leg for twelve, team. Let's work. All right, team. I'm sticking with the 20s for the 15 rep set. Make it hard. We got 15 split squats on the right leg coming up. If you're feeling good and you got a couple extra reps in you, go for it though. Two, one, and work. Come on, right leg. Fifteen reps, come on. Short breaks are okay, we got thirty seconds. Come on. Oh, 10 seconds. Don't say, if you're not finishing that much faster than me, don't get any extra reps and you have no rest. In three, one, and work team, come on.
Come on, 30 seconds. Oh, shit. Woo. We got 15 step ups on the right leg team. Hang in there with me. We got a nice two minute rest coming up after this last set of step ups. And we just went 21 straight minutes of the legs, lunges, step ups. Come on, three, one, and work. Right leg, 15, come on, drive, control. Squeeze the quad at the top. Seconds left. I got five to go. <clears throat> Come on. Oh. Oh. Why there's smoke? Ah. Twelve seconds, team. Woo. Left leg. Last set. In three, one, and work. 15 on the left. Let's get it. seconds. Got the full minute and 15. grind I thought I could get some max reps out 15 reps was more than enough all right team we got three intervals this round we're doing dumbbell deadlifts and Peterson step ups so right and left so deadlifts are a single movement then we got some unilateral work same format 8 10 12 15 50 60 a minute 15 a minute 15 for the Peterson step ups you're gonna need something stand on so something small you can use a couple of plates you can use a couple of books you can use a wedge or a ledge in your house like a stair in your house or a stair at the gym I'll show you what it is in a second so for the deadlifts take two dumbbells shoulder blades back and together feet are pretty narrow slight bend in your knees you're gonna keep those dumbbells close to your legs push your hips back feel a load in those hamstrings and glutes Drive through the legs, stand back up. Focus on keeping a strong contraction in your core, that way your back doesn't round. That's our first move. I'm gonna go 80s on the first set. So I'm going heavy for eight reps. I'm gonna set these up on this box so I'm ready to roll. The second movement is the Peterson step up. So if you have something to stand on like so, we're here. Foot is out in front of you. You can hold a dumbbell in your hand. You're trying to keep the heel down, or if you're more advanced, you can have the heel up. It's just hard to balance. So I'd recommend heel down, touch the heel out in front of you, and then drive up and squeeze. 
nice and slow, a little pause at the bottom. I'm actually gonna put a wedge up on the box too, that keeps me up onto my toes. That is optional though. And I'm gonna go to the 35 pound dumbbell there, team. Any questions? Let me grab a wedge. So I'm gonna wedge my heel up, essentially. You guys could also put a small dumbbell or a book up on top. Keep the heel up, gives you a little bit more range of motion, makes it a little bit harder. Now for the deadlifts, grip is gonna become a factor, so I'm throwing some straps on. I don't know if you guys have straps, but I'm using 80s. My hands are sweating like the freaking uh, Hoover Dam. So I wanna be able to hold on to these babies. Any questions, team? We're ready to work. Let's do it. We got a five second countdown, 50 seconds of dumbbell, well, eight reps in 50 seconds of dumbbell deadlifts in three, two, one, and work. Oh, abs tight, shoulder blades back in together. Get those nipples facing the ground. Drive through the legs. Keep your head neutral. Eight reps. I also like to try to keep the lats as tight as possible. I'm pretending like I'm pinching pieces of paper in my armpit. We're going eight reps. Up, uh, Peterson step up, right leg. I'm going 35 pounds. Put up, nice and slow. Let that heel touch. Drive. We're trying to get the knee over the toe. Eight reps. You guys should have something to stand on. You can stack anything up. Seven seconds. We're going left leg, same thing. Eight. One, and work. Eight reps, team. I'm actually gonna stick with these same weights for the 10 rep round. And then I'll probably drop, at least on the deadlift. In 10 seconds. You got 60 seconds to complete 10 deadlifts, team. Drop the weight if you're uncomfortable with the movement or you have any back pain at all. You should be working the low back, but there shouldn't be any pain per se. Just muscles working. Shoulders back in together, head neutral. 10 reps. Ten reps. Woo. Peterson step ups for ten coming up in three, one, and work. Right leg ten. Huh. 
10 reps. Ah. 15 seconds, team. We're going 10 on the left leg. Woo, those heavy deadlifts fried me. Heart rate's at like 155. In five, team. Left leg, same deal. Peterson step ups. We're working opposite muscle groups here, guys. You should feel the deadlifts and the hamstrings, glutes, and low back. You should feel these babies and those quads. 10 reps. Team. We're in our 12 rep round. Deadlifts. I'm dropping the 60s here. I'm getting fatigued. I want to keep the form on point. I want to focus on the muscles that I'm intending to work. I know fatigue is under fatigue. I'm more likely to make an excuse. That's how you hurt yourself. So don't try to go too heavy. Take something challenging. Three, 12 deadlifts. And work. Abs tight, attack that low back. Thirty seconds. I'm going to twenty five on the Peterson step up. Twelve reps in in ten seconds. Three, one, twelve on the right team. Come on. legs 12 on the left coming up in 25 seconds team heart rate slowly coming down it's at about 140 now i think i was doing cardio here the legs are the biggest muscle group in the body train them should get your heart rate up we don't skip leg day around here team come on left leg 12 reps three one and work Stick with the 25 for 15. I'm gonna drop the 15s. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna drop the 50s on the 15 set of um, deadlifts. High rep deadlifts, a little precarious, so I'd rather have you go a little lighter than heavier here. Just really feel the motion, really feel those hamstrings and glutes load up, rather than going super heavy. That's what we were doing in the earlier sets. 
10 seconds. Now we're building up a little bit of muscular endurance in low back, glutes, hamstrings, upper back too. Three, one, and work team. 15 reps. You got a minute and 15 to complete them. Take your time. seconds team. Woo. Uh. 10 Peterson step ups for 15. Coming up. Three, one, 15 reps on the right leg. Come on. Fifteen reps, team. Twenty seconds. We got step downs on the left leg. Fifteen reps. Three. One. I got sweat puddles over here from the elbow sweat. Make sure this thing doesn't slip. Rest the remainder of the minute 15. You got a nice two minute rest after that. We're into our final circuit like this. And then we have a little core finisher. Whew. How we doing team? Feeling good? How those legs feeling? A little, a little jello-y? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we got some reversal lunges coming up. Don't worry. Something to finish them off. Three, two, one and cut it there team all right so we got the exact same format as the last two rounds 8 10 12 15 same formats 50 60 75 75 we're gonna do dumbbell reverse lunge on the right leg then left leg and then a standing calf raise which should be like a walk in the park compared to the rest of these exercises so reverse lunges you're gonna take two dumbbells we're gonna start at the top of your mat you're gonna lunge back, let that knee kiss the ground if you can, drive back up. Most of the time, that weight is staying forward, loaded on that front leg. The back leg gets about 10%. So we're gonna go 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Or sorry, eight on the right, eight on the left. And then switch legs, eight on the left. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Eight on the right, then eight on the left, and then we're gonna go 10 calf raises, team. Standing calf raises, rock up onto your heels, for the calf raises, we're going a little higher reps. We're going 10, 12, 15, 20. So, 
Think about pausing those calf raises at the top, really flexing them and then controlling that descent down. I like to rock up onto the heels to get a little bit of this anterior tibialis working. Kind of gives you a tiny bit of momentum to get up there too, because it's kind of weird on the ground. Three, uh, four sets through team, let's do it. And then we got, a, I think a three minute AMRAP, AMRAP for core to finish off. So let's empty the tank here. Let's go heavy on these reverse lunges with whatever juice you got left in the tank. I think I'm gonna go 45s here on the first set of eight. See how I hold up. And I'm keeping the straps on because my grip may go during this. And we gotta hold on to heavy dumbbells for the standing curls too. I'm probably gonna go 60s on the standing calf raises. 10 seconds team, reverse lunges, right leg, eight reps. In three, two, and work. Nice and slow, eight reps. Eight. Oh. 20 seconds team, we're going eight on the left leg. Whew. In 10, eight. Eight on the left team, three, two, and work. Fifteen seconds, team. We're going standing calf raises for ten. In three, one, and work. Ten reps. Pause. Nice and slow. Squeeze. Ten. Fifteen seconds, team. We got sixty seconds coming up on the right leg. Reverse lunges. In five. Three, I'm sticking with 45 for another set. One, and work. Ten. Team switching legs in 20. Heart rate's in around 150. Seven seconds. Three, one, let's do it. 10 on the left. Yeah. <laughs> 
Huh. I'm dropping a 40 on the set of 12. Huh. I'm sticking with 60s on the set of 12 calf raises. In three, two, 12 reps. Team. We're back to reverse lunges. Right leg. 12 reps. I'm going to 40. Two. One. And work. Come on. We got a minute 15. Take your time here, team. We're switching legs in 30. Nice deep breath. Walk it off. Try to clear some out lactic acid from the legs. My heart rate's still sitting at around 150. Woo! Five seconds. We got 12 on the left. Let's go. A minute 15 to complete them. Fifties on the calf raises. We got 15 reps there. My hands are so sweaty. The straps aren't even really working. Woo! Three, one, and work. Come on, 15 calf raises, team. seconds team I'm going 35 on these last set of reverse lunges 15 good reps here team make them look just as good as that first set quality over weight so drop the weight if you need to Whew. deep breath try to walk it off 
you're ready in six, five, three, and work. Come on. 15 on the right leg. Let that knee kiss drop. Come on. One third there, I got five in. And I'm going 5, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. Short breaks are okay. Oh. Oh. 20 seconds to finish, team. 15 on the left leg. Seven seconds. I'm gonna take a couple seconds off the top. Try to get my heart rate back down. It's at like 155. Right. One minute, seven seconds. Come on. Start working through these. 15 on the left. Let's go. Five seconds. Eight seconds, team. I got 20 calf raises. I'm going with 40. And go. You can take a couple seconds off the top if you need to. Come on team, let's get this shit. We're in that home stretch, we got three minutes of work after this. Twenty reps. Uh, oh. oh shit. Ten seconds. Two, one, and rest, team. Woo! Two minutes on the clock. If you have a decline bench, you can use it. We're gonna do some weighted sit-ups. So, I'm gonna pull out my bench, decline. If you don't have a bench, or you're not strong enough to do it on a bench, you can do this on the floor as well. You're just gonna hook your feet under something, like a couple of dumbbells, a bench, a couch, you're gonna hold the weight on your upper chest and do a full sit up. If you can't do a full sit up, you can just do a little crunch, keep your knees bent, try to keep that low back on the ground. If you're doing the crunch. So, I'm gonna hook the legs. It's 10 reps here, team. We're gonna set three minutes on the clock, and you're gonna go as many rounds as you can. We wanna get a full extension so the rib cage opens up, the head touches. You're gonna crunch all the way up, nice and slow, back down, touch, drive back up. Huh. Then, you're gonna go straight into a side plank hip lift with the weight optional between the legs. I'm gonna try to go 25 here. 
So I'm gonna lay on my side. Feet are stacked on top of each other. We're gonna lift up, squeeze, nice and slow down. If you wanna add a weight, <laughs> you can put it between your legs, drive up, squeeze. If that's too hard, you can put the top foot in front, makes it a little bit easier. If that's still too hard, you can go knees bent and come off of the knees, team. We're going three minutes on the clock. You're gonna cycle through 10 weighted sit-ups, 10 side plank hip lifts on the right and left for as many rounds as you can get in three minutes. Not gonna be many, so just try to push your tempo. You can use a little heavier weight than you think. I'm gonna go 25 on the crunch or on the sit-up. I'm, go, I'm gonna go 20 on the sit-up, 25 on the uh, side plank. We good, team? We're going in seven seconds. Let's go. Just knock it out. Three, one, and work. 10 reps. Side plank hip lifts. A minute 30 team, maybe one more round. Might get two in. seconds. Team, awesome work. Day 22 in the books. Woo, that was a grind. Oh, awesome work, guys. Thank you for joining in. We'll be back tomorrow with a full body workout. Thursday with another upper body and Friday with another lower body. Thank you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.